So I guess I should have <clears throat> started at the beginning. I took my wheel off. I've got it flat. He's using a, a valve stem remover. Now I use I still use air tires up front and a lot of I think a lot of people anyway I've heard people talk about airless. I don't know. I like the air tires, it doesn't bother me. Plus it's what was on the mower when I got it. I went and buy new new tires for no reason. And I may buy some new tires next year but that's pretty low on the list if I can ever get this valve stem out of here or this valve core I'm going to try some different stuff so this video I don't know what's going on. I didn't want to come out of there. There we go. It's just being held in with gunk. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. That's the little thing you push in when you're pumping your air in. This is what pushes this in to allow, allow the air into the tire. You see that little black, oh sorry, a little black piece on there. It's like a little rubber seal. Keeps the air from escaping around it. I lost the little clear piece of plastic. But I'm going to try something new. It's uh, just a Cellador, oh, haha, <laughs> never mind. Tire aid, tire and tube cell. So let's see. And I need for this size tire, uh, we look like. It's a nine inch tire. Let's say six ounces. So you see on the back, it's got little ounce readings on this thing. 24 ounce bottle. Let's do, uh, let's do six ounces. Let's see what happens if I can make this work. Kind of, I cut the tip off of it, and it shouldn't have, because I wasn't paying attention. And now I think I'm gonna have to maybe rig. Something. I don't know what I'm gonna have to do here. I've got to rig up something to get the stuff in because that's not gonna work. All right, I gotta plunder around a bit. All right, so let's see if this works. I'm gonna start from the very beginning of my. This is a kid's silly straw. I don't, obviously, I don't need that. And this looks, oh look at that, it slid, well, it slides right over the stem, so I'm going to, let's, let's cut it about right there, oh man, hopefully this works around my ass is in trouble for destroying the kids, no. okay that doesn't want to fit in there and I don't want to, Part. Oh, look at that. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, this is working. Guys, this is working really well. I just lost a little bit because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. This is working really well. Oh, I guess you guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm just squirting this tire sealant. 
end of the tire. The only bad thing is I can't really see how much I, I don't know how much I've really squirted in there. I'm gonna guess. Hopefully, I'm at enough. It feels like a lot. All right. Silly straws. Don't just throw them away. They work. Now it's a tire sealant hose. All right. Now I'm going to put the valve stem back in. You just push it right back in. Take your tool and they you can get a thing to hook onto the end of it to where you don't have to get a little reach on it, but I don't have it or I can't find it. So screwing that back in. And this may not work, this tire's been flat for a little while. And yep, I had mode on a flat tire. It's just a front tire so it's not bad. Just gonna Watch what you're doing. Alright. I would use my air compressor, but it's not back. And I don't feel like dragging that all the way around the front. switch it look at that gunk had water in it or something that's pretty nasty it's still flat I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take the stem out and do it again put some more tire sealant in there and see what I can get it to do so this is what I'm having this evening I mean it's Friday a little little hop out and so, Mr. Lawn Care Nut, if you're if you're seeing this, this is a um, I don't know. I think it's a a seven percent. Yeah. I don't know if it'll focus. It's a seven percent. There we go. And it's an IPA. It's my I like the hoppy stuff. Look at that bloody mess. The red is out of this this thing this is the, the tire sealant I was using my kids used to be my kids 
little bendy straw and the messy ass tire because I don't know all that mud and crap coming out of it I have mowed a few times on the flat guys <laughs> but it's holding air just fine now now I gotta pump that other one up I let it I let some air out so they at least matched or close so yeah so I've done the blades oh I've got to put in where is it? Where is it? Oh, just gotta do a air filter, I think. And actually, I was gonna ask you guys. Eh, it's not bad. I mean, it's not horrible. It's not great, but let's. Uh, Sorry guys, flopping you guys all around like that. Let's get this guy out of there. Let's put this guy in. Let's put this guy in. There. Yeah. We'll clean that guy up later. I save those, I just blow them out because uh, crap gets really nasty and I'm in a hurry. And I don't have time to go buy one. But what I was going to, oh, back on. What I was going to ask you guys, I don't know what you guys carry on your rigs for, not so much for a tire flat like that. That's a front wheel, but maybe for a tire flat like that, you know, on the backs or on your ZTRs or whatever. I don't know if you guys carry anything like that in case you don't want to I mean you know I'm sure everybody carries that but uh I think this was like 20 bucks at Cabela's you guys over on the east coast probably have Bass Pro Shops carry the same thing <clears throat> but yeah it comes with some uh, CO2 cartridges patch cement a little tire air filler it just screws down on the top of the CO2 cartridge some plugs some tools but yeah pump a tire up in a hurry so yep so I'm gonna put this back together now and finish my beer